Encoding overloaded. Oh, great. Good evening, gentle ladies and men. I have a new Blue Yeti microphone, and to break it in, I've decided to do a little video of Adobe Illustrator. Very late at night. Mm, shouldn't take too long, but mm, it's me we're talking about. No. I'm gonna pull up some references. Uh, of course, it's the BBC HD one with the... It's, it's the one with the little girl with the blackboard and the clown doll thing. That... The thing about the test card is... I... I don't know what the different parts of it are for. I know the little rainbow is for testing ability to show color. I think their ability to show pattern without, like, dithering and shit. I'm gonna search test pattern, I of course get the classic Indian head one. That one. Which I thought was pretty goddamn stoic. Nah, in that case I'm gonna do it simple. Mm, skewing towards the bottom one. Oh. Apparently that skews them away from the bottom. I haven't used this tool in a long time. Yeah, yeah, this is taking shape, all right. Just gotta make sure all this is lined up properly. You can't change the stroke color to a gradient. I don't think. Unless you can. Wouldn't that be weird? Oh, what? Apparently you can, okay. Apparently I'm talking out my ass. Might as well give that a go again, uh, then. Yeah, there we go, stroke gradient. 90. Oh, that looks weird. This is actually starting to look pretty decent. I did not expect this to look as good as it does, but it does look good. You know what? That's decent enough. Though I might have to make one of these a touch brighter. There, and now it fits properly in there. And that needs to be a touch darker. Yeah, you can you can tell where these cross if you squint, but other than that, it looks pretty much just fine. Little bit too bright. Yeah, fuck it, that'll do. <clears throat> yeah, a little white line around the outside is, is a little bit of a graphical glitch. I have a stupid fucking what amounts to a YouTube poop stuck in my head. And it needs to leave, otherwise I'm gonna go insane. Oh wait, I already am insane. Uh, unpleasantries. I have wonder if I should talk louder. Is 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 this screen too big? It it might be too big. This this little 
panel in the bottom left. I think it might be too big. Mm. Yeah, it's probably too big now that I look at it. And that works out perfect. I'm leaving the O out of Roy G. Biv, but fuck it. The orange is in there. I can show you the world. I can give you the dick. Suck with reckless abandon. Incidentally, if you can describe to me the function of each part of a television test card in a video somehow, please do. I like learning new things. As the Brotherhood of Steel scribe once said, it's a fine day for learning. I can give you the dick. I'm just a fucking frat boy in disguise, aren't I? Yeah, that should do. Am I missing anything? Should I... I mean, I'm probably missing a lot because I don't understand the actual function of all the bits on a test card, but I feel like I could go with... I could go for having a little bit more diversity over the entire thing. I mean, if I stick this up here, I'll have more space on the bottom to put my branding in. Do I want it on the bottom or do I want it on the top? If I put it on the top, I'll have more space. While I'm working this, I'm remembering all the good memories I have of uh, the BBC and... Yeah, good memories of the BBC, that's a first. <laughs> oh please, Channel Dave is on there, so... Hmm. Or is it its own thing? Is Channel Dave its own thing, or is it on like BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three? No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm, maybe I should make it white. Yeah, yeah, it shows it off. That font is very astute. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for a little while while I, uh... bask in the glory. Hmm, fonts. Ain't nothing like a good font, fella. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm doing this project and I'm remembering all the good times I have of um, listening to that one BBC bump that they'd have right before uh, DVD programs that they had. Actually, it's specifically the one they had as you're booting into Robot Wars shit the one Robot Wars game that was actually kind of good I mean none of them were any any good really because physics are you know known to be kind of crap physics simulation back in the day was not as good as it is now, and even now it's not that great. Yeah, it looks good. It looks perfectly good, actually. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna save. Alright, that's, that's that then. Um, thank you for joining me on this little ride. And... I don't know. We'll stay fractally, I suppose? Yeah. Yeah, stay fractally, my friends.